Now to our special series, 88 counties in 88 days. Tonight, we take you to Auglaes County in the western part of the state. And as you'll see, they're famous for some really out of this world artifacts. Yeah, when people think about Auglaes County and they see Wapakoneta, um, they associate that with the hometown of Neil Armstrong. Yeah, the museum is open. We reopened after um, the shutdown in the state on uh, June 23rd, and we've gradually added more days to our operation as we saw the operation worked. We made uh, um, various modifications. Uh, we changed our hours so that we could monitor our building capacity and also um, be able to uh, disinfect in an efficient way. But it's very important for the county that the museum was open, that it's drawing people in. It's a source of pride for the region. We draw people from outside the area. This is our Apollo 11 moon rock. This moon rock was collected on the Apollo 11 mission by Neil Armstrong himself. To have it displayed like this here at the Armstrong Museum in Wapakoneta in Neil Armstrong's hometown is, is just incredible. Really awesome when you have artifacts like this, which are the real things and we're actually you know, flown on these, these historic missions. Well, we usually take trips every summer and uh, due to all the lockdowns. We didn't want to go very far. And we had so. the kids locked up and cooped up so we could be as safe as possible and, and come on out and, you know, live life a little bit. Tourism is important. Like I said, the museum draws people from outside the area. Grand Lake, St. Mary's, uh, that has, gets a lot of summer business, uh, you know, boats just, you know, taking in the lake. It's a, a gorgeous area down there. The park is extremely important to the people that live here. I mean, it's, it's a, a giant lake and lots of park area. The boat activity has picked up due to COVID. Um, camper sales and boat sales have both went way up in the area. Our campground is fuller than it's ever been. What I call the silver lining in the cloud for COVID is people are discovering their state parks that they hadn't been to in many years. Wow, that looks really nice. Want to go there? Stat, certainly. 